the number one thing in my mind that has changed is the precision with which we built. So when you look at each component in a rocket today, versus just 50 years ago, the today we're building it with CAD CAM, we're using uh, computer controlled machines. There's obviously been tremendous efficiencies in material and in the processes for which we build rockets. And similar to uh, the rocket industry, we are building with a precision that is significantly higher than it was, again, just a few decades ago. We are using CAT uh, in, in, our, in, in our industry. We're using BIM. We all have, uh, I'm sure, all have Lean Six Sigma programs in place like we do, where we are identifying waste uh, and optimizing our processes. So precision for our industry is one of the core things that have changed over the last couple of decades, um, similar to the rocket industry. It's only a matter of time before the equipment that we are using in our industry is going to go from being a physical device that has a little bit of computer power on it to become an integrated computer and sensing uh, machine that also happens to have an area work platform. And take that to our industry. I firmly believe that the implication of that is that our industry is going to go through a similar transition and a similar disruption as we have seen for the rockets, as we have seen for the cars. And that our construction sites are going to change from being a fundamentally a physical world only to, be a, uh, to have a digital twin right on top of it. We're going to have a physical and a digital world living right on top of each other. And similar to the automotive industry, it's going to open up a brand new world for us where we're going to uh, see new services, new partnerships, new business models evolve uh, from, from, uh, from this duality. What I'm suggesting, uh, uh, or, or put another way, how often have you been told that what we do in our industry is not rocket science? Right? Every day going, what you guys do is not rocket science. Well, I'm actually suggesting that that's exactly uh, what it is. That, that the hard part of tying the value streams together and extract this value across the different pieces has to come from within the industry. The point here is really that the secret sauce has to be found within the industry um, and can't be found, um, uh, or pieces of it is going to come from outside. But tying it all together really has to come from the people that are doing the work on a daily basis. So with that, I just want to thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.